Okay, so this is ridiculous. I'm going to make this video for the second time because the first time I filmed this, it took 10 minutes. I'm going to try and cut it short, uh, or make it shorter because I can't really cut it, and, uh, and try and make it shorter and more concise. Basically, I'll just uh, go through a few things. Yes, this is another kind of like vloggy, room, messy, me going around the room, panting around with my phone kind of video. That's because I'm lazy and I haven't got my um, PC with me, and also I was kind of doing biology homework, and I decided to give my views and opinions on EGL8 that actually happened this weekend. Uh, EGL8, um, it was the last tournament for Modern Warfare but I'll get into some stuff later. So yeah, um, obviously, um, well, obviously, if you didn't see EGL8, TCM won. Uh, TCM is a European team that actually formed two months, or um, I can't remember, two months or two weeks before EGL8. So quite uh, quite an achievement on their part. They're all pro, play pro players, but quite a uh, quite an achievement on their part to uh, win. Optic Gaming didn't win. If you know uh, and you've been following EGL and competitive gaming in the Modern Warfare 3 uh, season, EGL5 and EGL7 was taken home by Optic, and Optic actually haven't lost a single land that they've attended or. A single series, especially EG8, uh, EGL8. In EGL5, actually, they only... EGL... Uh, EG, damn it, man. At EGL5, they didn't drop a single map in a single series. Uh, and they dropped, like, only a few maps in EGL7. And, um, obviously, EGL8 was a lot, lot closer. And, unfortunately, Optic lost. As you guys probably know, I am an Optic fanboy. I'm not gonna lie. I do enjoy their team. Partly because Scumpy's part of it. And he was part of Quantic Leverage, a team that I did also follow in the Black Ops season. Uh, they disbanded, but... I think a few of their guys, uh, well, they actually returned. Quantic Leverage did actually attend EGL8 um, as a different team. But yeah, I enjoy Optic because it's campaign and some other players, and I just like their game style. And also, they're ridiculously good and kind of good to learn from. Um, so, so yeah, basically. Um, I'm not sure if you guys follow the competitive player scene uh, or the teams, but basically I think four or five American teams, North American teams, flew over uh, to EGL 8 to compete. I think only 86 teams attended. EGL 5 had like 125 teams, and EGL 7 had oh, like, I don't know, 78 teams attended. And EGL 8 was 86, and uh, five of those were North American teams. Um, obviously Optic, Envious... Uh, TKO, which is TakeOver, led by Fizzup, another guy you probably guy might know um, from the Black Ops season, he was part of uh, Fear, but I'm not going to you know, go through every single play, because if I did, and I did that in my last video when I tried filming this, um, I would go into too much depth, and I'm not going to go all fanboyish and stuff. So basically, yeah, um, Optic, Envious, TKO, TakeOver, Apex Collapse, and Fear. Oh, no, not Fear, Fear is the... Um, not the Fear American team, but Fear U team. What's the last one? I forgot. I keep on forgetting this one, man. Uh, Quantic Leverage, that's it. Quantic Leverage, uh, made of, well, not made of, but uh, for the four players are Nade Shot, Fear, uh, Fear John, um, Aches, and TP. Uh, and yeah, those five teams attended. Um, Optic came second, TCM came first, third was Envious, fourth was, I can't remember, probably Prophecy. Uh, Leverage came seventh, and yeah, those are the kind of places. You can look these up on the internet, uh, they are there. I was going to pace around the room and move the camera so it's not boring for you to watch. Um, so yeah, I was kind of disappointed, well not really disappointed, I was kind of sad that uh, Optic didn't win obviously because they, everyone expected them to uh, win. It was really surprising that TCM uh, beat them. Uh, Twitter actually exploded. I was just following Twitter while uh, watching uh, Twitch and uh, <laughs> Twitch.tv if you don't know is a good uh, site for streaming and, and games and stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I was just watching Twitter and everything just exploded. People are just like, oh my god, Optic might lose. Optic uh, won't run away from losing. And I have to say, every single map uh, at EGL8 that I watched was ridiculously close. I didn't get to watch uh, all of the event. I was actually going to go, but my mom didn't let me. Uh, I think I posted a video before saying, you know, EGL8, that's going to be so sick. But I couldn't go, un unfortunately, because uh, my mom didn't let me go. But uh, I watched it on live stream for a bit. And the maps that I saw, Jesus Christ, were they close? Um, I think one of the maps, uh, Bootleg CT, between Envious and TCM was I think it took them what 30 minutes in the stop over like oh, not overtime but the stopwatch thing to get a cap it was ridiculous I, I hopped into the stream and I just heard commentators being so ridiculously bored by the fact that teams wouldn't do anything and then finally TCM got a flag and basically clutched it 5-4 against uh, Envious and just 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 knocked them out um, from the loser's bracket finals because obviously Optic played TCM before uh, in the tournament knocked them into the loser's bracket as you guys might or might not know uh, EGL has a double, uh, double elimination kind of format which means you have to lose twice to be knocked out of the tournament uh, so if you for example appear in the winner's bracket um, and you uh, lose to a team like Optic you might get into the loser's bracket play more matches play more matches and if you get to the loser's bracket final and win that match you will face the winner bracket finalists uh, which are usually Optic I've always been on um, in the finals. That's how the thing works, but I don't want to get into the whole setup because setups for tournaments such as this are boring. So yeah, 
that marks the end of the Modern Warfare 3 area, um, a game, a COD game that didn't actually appear on the pro circuit of MLG, uh, but was hosted by the site and EGL, so thankfully uh, it did keep uh, people playing and people kind of attracted to the stream. I think on the stream when I watched it yesterday, there were 10,000 people online uh, watching that one stream. It was kind of ridiculous. It was quite a large amount considering that usually you only have like, I don't know, three, four thousand at a peak. And today I had, uh, today I had a quick look at Twitch and only 1,200 people or so were online. So yeah, that's about EGL. I don't want to go into too much detail. I'm trying to make this video a bit shorter because it does kind of suck listening to me for five minutes and 30 seconds uh, just, you know, speaking at you. So I'll kind of just do like a quick panoramic view of the uh, of the room. Um, I did say that I would try and stick to a one video per week kind of thing. Um, that's kind of hard to do with the workload. Um, and um, and other things. My computer's also being really, really stupid. I will get another computer for my birthday, which is coming up real soon, I think, in 16 days, so about two weeks. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to be 17. That's going to be awesome. Um, and yeah, so a new computer, that should mean uh, probably higher processing power, better processing power. Um, so I should be able to do more videos, edit videos a bit faster and do things a little bit quicker because it does, it's quite time consuming uh, from recording to video conversions to Sony Vegas rendering to everything, video uploads. It it just takes a while. That's why it's easier for me to do vlogs, even though they aren't as, as professional and obviously a bit more boring as you have nothing in the background apart from my camera moving to, to satisfy your needs of your YouTube session. <laughs> but that's it, I'll try and do that. I think Smithy, I think you've heard commentaries from most of the Stinks members, uh, main, main four. Uh, obviously a lot of videos from me, uh, Henry did a few, Salvi did an introductory video, and I think James Smith, uh, Smithy or xsmithy13, as you might know him from one of my videos, we have played many games with him. Um, we'll make a video soon. Uh, a really, really good guy. A, a really good guy, actually. Um, a pretty good slayer. I have one of his gameplays that I want to upload to you guys. One GB match we play. He just really fucking slayed. Um, <laughs> and yeah, he just did really well. So, I mean, we're going to get a video out from him soon, I think. He said. Um, and yeah, obviously half term is coming up. Half term, if you don't don't know, guys, is basically like a holiday. Um, we have like a week off, which should be, I think, from the 22nd of October, like 24th or something, till the 4th of November. And you guys might be going, oh, that's not one week, it's more than one week. Well, that that's true. I'm not exactly sure how many um, days it is, but I know for a fact that my first day of half-term holiday is next Thursday. So not this Thursday, but next Thursday, I should be free. Whee! And, uh, and that should be awesome. So, look for more videos then. Uh, that's what I'm basically saying. I don't know what else to update you guys with. Uh, things are doing fine. I'm going to try and do a montage. Um, not a montage, a clantage rather. Uh, of a few clips that we've gained from public matches and generally from blah, 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 GBs. That should be pretty awesome. Um, and I don't know what else to say. I don't want to make this video drag on for too long because I'm not really good at uh, kind of stopping and uh, ending it very well. So I'll just say, you know... Um, have a nice day. This has been Lucas. Um, I'll try and get my videos out to you guys. I'm sorry if I haven't been making many and you just need to be really needy and like, oh, why is Stinks not uploading videos? But <laughs> no, no, I'll try and get more out and uh, we'll see what we can do. So in the meantime, I will do my biology work and math work and chemistry work and a load of other stuff that I have to do for tomorrow. And uh, I'll see you next time.